Now you might think buying a vehicle like this Chieftain tank behind me is horrendously hard, but in this video I'm going to show you how you can buy one nearly as easily as buying a car. Now one of the first points you're going to have to ask yourself is what vehicle do you actually want? Now this is one of the more fun parts of the process because you've got to make a decision. Do you want something a little bit smaller like this Ferret Scout car or do you want something a little bit bigger like this Sherman 105? Now this is going to make a huge impact on the rest of your decisions. Then you need to have a think about what sort of condition do you want the vehicle in? Do you want a runner that you can just hop in and drive it straight away or do you want a vehicle that needs a bit of work on, needs a bit of restoration to get going? That is probably the most important question because that's going to have a huge impact on the next point, creating a budget. If you've made it this far, hi and welcome. My name's Alex Garner and welcome to the Armageddon Collection. Now you've got to remember, purchasing the vehicle isn't going to be the only cost. For example, if you're purchasing quite a big vehicle from point A to point B and it's got to go quite a distance, that can run you up to a couple thousand pounds at least. If you want to run that vehicle on the road, then you're probably going to have to pay to have it registered. And also the biggest one, spare parts. Now inevitably, whichever vehicle you buy, you're going to have to buy a spare part eventually. Some spare parts might only cost you 20 or 30 pounds, but others can cost you thousands. You've got to remember a lot of these parts aren't made anymore, so you're either going to have to find parts off another person or you're going to have to find a specialist person to make them. It's not the be all or end all, but it is something you've got to make sure you've got a little bit of money aside for, for those just in case scenarios. Once you've done that, you're on to step three, research that vehicle. You're gonna to need to know as much as you physically can about that vehicle before you buy it. Some vehicles are complete minefields. Take, for example, the humble Willys Jeep. Now, during the war, they made absolutely thousands of these and they carried on producing them well after the war ended. So if you wanna get yourself a World War II Jeep, you've really got to do your research because you're gonna to have to really know what the difference between World War II parts are and post-war modifications. Now, I'm not saying you need to know everything, but you need to have a good idea just so you don't get scammed. Now you've gotta figure out the cost and the price of these vehicles can change depending on whereabouts you are in the world and what sort of condition the actual vehicle is in. So the best thing to do is just research the price of all the ones that have sold in the last year. That will give you a kind of a rough understanding of what the price is going to be. Now that you've done your research on the vehicle that you want, now you're on to number four, actually finding one for sale. Now surely it's not going to be as easy as just going on Facebook or going on eBay. Well actually it is. For smaller vehicles, you can literally just go onto eBay or Facebook Marketplace. They're two of the easiest places to find vehicles. All you need to do is go onto their website, type in military vehicles, and you're going to have a selection of ones for sale already. Now if you're looking to buy yourself a proper tank, then you're going to have a bit of an issue looking on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, mainly because due to their firearms policies they don't allow vehicles like this being sold if they've got cannons on top even if they're deactivated if you are looking for a vehicle like this with a cannon on top then you've got two options have a look on a website called millweb this is a website that does allow vehicles with activated and deactivated guns to be sold I will say you can definitely find some more websites like that, however Millweb is definitely the biggest. Your second option is find somebody who is a military vehicle dealer like us here at Armageddon Military Vehicle Collectors. Pretty much if you're looking for a vehicle, let us know and we will be able to find one. Now I'm not going to hard sell you, but we have been doing this for around about 25 years, so if you're interested, do send us an email. Now let's say you found a vehicle that you like. Now your next step is just to double check the person is actually legit. Now it's very unlikely it is going to be a scam, but you can never be too sure. The best way to do it is just quickly Google their name or the company's name and just see what you can find out. But like I say, it's very rare, but it's always good to do your due diligence. After all that, you finally found a vehicle that you like, so now it's time to actually go inspect the tank and see if it's the one for you. Now this is a great time to see if there's any faults of the vehicle that might cost you a bit of money later on. And if it's been sold as a runner, this is time that you check if the engine's working okay, if the brakes are okay, the steering. They're some of the main parts that always end up costing you a lot of money if they're not right. Ask any questions that you think you're going to need the answer to. You're going to be spending a lot of money with this person, so this is the best time to just figure out anything that you're not 100% sure on, or any other information on the vehicle that you might need to know as the future owner. And now it's time for negotiation. Now this is probably the most important part. Now don't feel rude about asking for a little bit of money off. The military vehicle collector's world is very much used to it. So if you go in there asking for 500 or 1,000 pounds off, you're gonna have a, you know, have a little bit of a chat and they might negotiate with you. However, if you go in saying, oh, I don't wanna pay that price, I'm gonna only offer you half, you're not gonna get anywhere at all. You're very likely to already know what the price is gonna be, so if you're happy with the price anyway and they don't wanna negotiate, that shouldn't stop you at all. If you're happy with the price and you like the vehicle, then by all means, go for it. 
And now the logistics, you've just gone and bought this 36 ton T55 tank. How on earth are you actually gonna get it home? Of course, you can't just drive it home depending on how close you are, and you can't just put it on the back of your trailer and tow it home. You're gonna need to get yourself a transport company. Now for a lot of vehicles, vehicles like this are going to be completely out of their weight range. So the best thing to do is just ask the person that you're buying it off, just ask and see if they use any companies around them. If they do, fantastic, you've got somewhere to start. If that doesn't work, however, if they don't know any, another good option is talk to some plant companies. So companies that transport heavy digger machinery, that sort of stuff. A lot of the time they're used to moving tracked and heavy vehicles, so something like this, although a little bit odd, is going to be something they can do. And just like that, you finally got her home. Now, she is taking up quite a bit of room in your driveway, but it doesn't matter. She's home. You've paid for her. Everything is done. However, there is still one more thing that you really want to do as a vehicle owner. Learn how to drive the vehicle and how to maintain for it. Obviously, these vehicles can cost from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of pounds. So you're going to need to get a rough idea on how to actually look after it and how to drive it. Because if you drive it wrong, you can easily cost yourself thousands of pounds worth of damages. If you're going to be taking your vehicle to shows, then you you need to make sure you have a bit of a test drive and you actually know how the vehicle works and runs before you get there. These vehicles, although they are great fun, they're not toys. They can be very deadly vehicles if you don't know how to use them. So take it for a little bit of a test run, learn how it handles and make sure that you're 100% happy with driving that vehicle before you take it anywhere else that other people are going to be there. And congratulations, just like that, you've gone and bought a tank. And the great thing is they do tend to go up in value so you can always tell the wife it's a great investment. But anyway, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have learned something, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.